Hey girls! So most of you guys know that yesterday I went to my very first unique training event. Um, I had so much fun. I learned so much information that I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, so I'm doing this video for you. <clears throat> um, so the first thing that we're going to talk about today um, is something that was given to us by um, Kara Ramey. She is unique presenter number four. So um, she's obviously got a lot of experience. She's been with the company since the very beginning. And um, what she was talking about yesterday is um, what are all the things that you can do to ruin your business? She was referencing the movie um, 10 Ways uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, um, which is really cute. So um, she was giving us all the things that you should not be doing in your unique business. So the first thing that she was talking about was being an online nuisance. And the examples that she was giving uh, for being an online nuisance is um, things not to post. Join my team or join my team and then tagging all of your friends. People don't like that. People don't like to be tagged in pictures without um, being asked permission first anyways, because they want to approve a picture if it's going to be posted onto their wall. But especially if you're posting something that's really businessy and you're basically forcing them to look at it. Imagine if you were like walking through the mall and somebody just comes up right in your face and puts up a poster to join my team. That's not what you're there for. You don't even want, you know, that's not something that you're interested in. So you don't want to be tagging your um, friends in pictures that aren't actually of them. That's just kind of rude. Um, don't be posting, uh, posting join my team posts anyways. Um, that's really not going to get you anywhere, whether it's you're posting on your wall or posting it in a group. It's just a lot better if um, you're getting to know somebody personally. Okay. Um, something else that she was talking about is... Um, Drama, baby daddy drama, leave that off of Facebook. No venting, you can't be putting negative stuff up on your wall and expecting people to come to you and do business with you. So if you do have some kind of drama going on in your life, that's fine, everybody's got something going on every once in a while, but don't be posting it as your status. If you have something that you need to get off your chest, that's when you pick up the phone, call one of your friends, text or send a private message to somebody. Don't be posting all that kind of drama on your page and then expecting people to do business with you. Um, spamming somebody else's wall. Don't be posting anything about your business onto somebody else's wall, um, especially if they haven't even given you permission to do that. But even if you're just posting onto their wall and expecting all of their friends to see your advertisement, that's not going to do anything for you. It's rude. It's spammy. It could get your reposts, your posts um, reported to Facebook. You don't want to go on Facebook jail, so just avoid that altogether. Um, hijacking somebody's post. Um, if you see somebody that's posting um, anything that you think could possibly be related to uh, wanting something that you're offering, don't be posting your link in the comments. That's not going to get you anywhere. Um, vague and ambiguous posts. Um, if you're going to post something, maybe let's say, for example, somebody did something to you and you're not happy about it and you post something like, you know what, you might think that you have done that by, behind my back, but I know who you are. Things like that, That's there's no, there's no room for that. Um, offensive language, um, offensive pictures, offensive links, anything like that that's going to bring some kind of negativity to your business, just don't be posting that onto your wall. Um, okay. Number two, the number two thing that you should not be doing in your business is recruiting. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird, but the word that she was wanting to replace that with is sponsoring. And the example that she was giving as a difference between the two is um, she was talking about having a college recruiter. College recruiters go around and their job is to get as many people as possible to sign up with their college or to at least apply. Um, and as soon as they do that, then their job is done and then they drop you. Um, military recruiters, unfortunately, do the same thing. One of my friends had that kind of experience where they, they just push really hard to recruit you. And then once you finally join, they kind of drop you and then you're like no longer in contact with that person. That's not what we want to do. We're about building relationships. So sponsoring is what we want to do. So she was saying that um, you want to think of an AA sponsor. Somebody who is sponsoring a person who is an AA, they're with them the whole time. They're holding their hand. They've always got their back. They're there as a support system. And that's really what we should be doing when we're trying to bring somebody onto our team. Um, think of yourself as a sponsor. You're going to be holding their hand as they're getting into the business. Not forever, of course, but you just don't want to think of yourself as trying to boost your numbers up and that's it because that's not what we're about. Um, number three, 
don't be worried about distractions. Distractions are really the destruction of your business in slow motion. So anything anything that happens, um, you can't control everything. One of the examples that she was giving uh, was Lashgate. That was before my time with Unique. But um, Lashgate is where I guess they were back ordered on the mascara for like two months. It was crazy. Apparently, a lot of people actually left the company because of that. And um, that's unfortunate that some teams fell apart because they thought it was so terrible that we were back ordered. And there were some teams that were so excited about the fact that the mascara was so popular that their numbers were exploding during that time. So you can't control something like that. You know, generally businesses need to project like six months in advance, you know, what kind of production they're going to need. There was just no way in the beginning for them to realize or to predict how popular a mascara was going to be. So st when stuff like that happens, don't worry about it. Um, just do your business. I mean, everybody got their mascaras anyways when they ordered it. Um, just do your business and move on. Um, gossip. I was really surprised that she said this um, because I just really feel like as adults, you know, we are smarter than this. But I guess with a business full of women, it's inevitable. Um, no gossip. Don't be gossiping with or about any of your team members. Don't ever post anything in a private message that you wouldn't want screenshotted and blasted all over Facebook anyways. She was saying this out of experience. Um, just no gossip. Um, drama, we kind of touched on that a little bit already, um, but if you have it, um, deal with it and move on. Just don't be, don't be posting it publicly. Um, uh, Facebook is not a place where people want to be hearing about your drama anyways. Um, Facebook is where people want to, um, see pictures of your life. They want to see things that are happy. It's a fun place, you know? Drama is just not something that should be, um, on your wall. Um, number six, uh, she was talking about change. As humans, I think it is just in our nature to hate change. How many times um, has Facebook changed something about like their timelines and the walls? Like they've changed the way it looks, the way it runs. Everybody hates it. There's an uproar. People say they're going to leave. They probably don't. Um, change is going to happen all the time. There's always going to be changes on Facebook and social media. There's going to be changes in product. Um, there's going to be changes in team members. I mean, there's just no way to avoid that. So there's no reason why something like that should be affecting your business. Um, you need to uh, make sure that you're avoiding negativity. She touched on that a little bit earlier as well, but um, she was talking about how if negativity and drama is something that is a common thread in your life, there's no way you're going to survive. She was talking about a family member who I believe it was her aunt um, who was always posting drama on Facebook, always, all the time. That's all she was. One of her other aunts um, had signed up as a presenter with her and wanted this other negative aunt to um, join Unique. And Kara was like, there is no way I want her associated with my team or with my business. She's just all full of drama. Well, apparently those two aunts got together and one was telling this negative girl that she needs to stop with the drama. She was telling her about this business opportunity and the aunt was like, no way. I mean, if you guys work on Facebook, Facebook is just full of drama. I don't want to have anything to do with that. And the other one said, Facebook is not full of drama. You're the one that's full of drama. Luckily, that actually turned her around and she's had a pretty successful business so far. So avoid the negativity. Um... The other thing that she was talking about is something that's happened kind of recent in our business where we've had um, a lot of people leaving the company. And surprisingly, it's been a lot of our um, top leaders in the business. Don't worry about that. Don't focus on it. It's something that happens in every single company, not just this one. Um, uh, actually, Sherry Brown was kind of touching on this subject a little bit as well. And she was just calling those kinds of people um, serial shiny object followers. And, you know, they might join one company, do really well with it, maybe even build a really big team. But as soon as something else comes along that grabs their interest, they leave a really successful business and they go join a new one. They're not going to be in that business for more than, I don't know, a couple of years or something like that before something else will come along and they'll be doing the same thing. So don't worry about that. If you all of a sudden see a bunch of people leaving the business, that's their business and not yours. Don't even worry about it. Um, number nine, she was talking about focusing on bad press. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the eyeball picture that was going around for a while. There were some presenters that really got their panties in a bunch over that and they got really sucked up into the drama and it really bothered them and um, stuff like that just sucks time away from you that you could be spending in your own business. Uh, we have compliance teams and we have a really great team up in corporate that handles that kind of stuff and they did. 
Um, so whenever you're seeing something that's bad press, don't worry about it. Not a single one of my friends or customers saw that picture, even though thousands of people did. Um, none of my friends saw it. They never heard of it. I never said anything about it. So that didn't affect my business at all. Um, if you do have a friend or a customer that comes to you about some kind of bad press that, um, that you've seen or that they've seen, just kind of explain to them what happened. You know, our company is dealing with it. Um, in that particular situation, she literally jabbed her eye with the, um, the fiber stick. Um, you know, that was just user error or something like that. Don't worry about it. Don't focus on it. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with your business and it's not going to affect your business unless you let it. Um, then the last one that she was talking about was uh, comparing yourself. And I think that as women, we grow up doing this a lot, unfortunately. Um, we're always comparing ourselves to each other and we really shouldn't. Um, one of the quotes that she had put up on her slide um, said that we struggle because we compare our behind the scenes with somebody else's highlight reel. You can't, if you're just starting with Unique or just starting with your business, you cannot compare the beginning of your business to the end of somebody else's business. Like if I'm gonna try and compare myself to Kara Ramey or Sherry Brown, I can't do that. I just got started myself. I've only been in the business for a couple of months and they've been in for over a year. So why am I gonna say, oh my gosh, I've been in for two months, I'm not black status yet, like some people have been in two, two or three months. You know, there's no reason for me to do that. I can't compare the beginning of my story to the end of somebody else's story. The only person that you should be competing with is yourself. And it's really, it's a really good idea to push yourself. You know, make sure you know your numbers every month. And whenever the next month starts, um, go ahead and try and push yourself a little further. Um, so yourself is the only person that you really should be comparing yourself with. Um, the One of the things that she closed with is uh, knowledge does nothing without action. So what she was suggesting is that you watch every training video you can get your hands on, go to the files section of your uh, group and read every single file. If it's been a while since you've read them, go back and read them again because I know even for myself, some of the uh, files in the beginning, they just didn't pertain to me. It was a little too much at first. So like every month or every couple of months, go through and read all the files in your file section. There's so much information there. If you haven't read anything, you're really kind of just depriving your business. Um, take lots of notes, but then you have to take action on what you're learning. There's gotta be a point where you stop reading, stop watching, and you actually start doing. Okay. All right. So that was um, the presentation by Kara Ramey. Um, the next video I'm going to be doing is uh, going to be about Instagram, um, general social media things that you should be posting. Okay. Thanks.